guys, Father's Day weekend is here. And you know, sometimes dad just needs a little TLC in the form of a good menu, good food. We can all get on board with that, right? And uh, if you're looking for some inspiration guaranteed to impress, you are in luck because registered dietitian uh, Amy Goodson is back with us from RDTV. And she's got some sweet and savory ideas for getting an epic Father's Day brunch done well. Good to see you, Amy. Hey, Carly, it's so good to see you again. But all right, are you ready for an epic Father's Day brunch? I know it's for dads, but us moms can enjoy it too. So let's start. I'm thinking brunch starts with a good drink. You want to start there, Amy? Okay, so we are going full-blown mocktail style this Father's Day so that everyone at brunch can enjoy. And one of my favorite bases for a refreshing beverage is the Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice. Not only do you get that fresh flavor, but on average, Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice has four times the antioxidants of green tea, and it's a good source of potassium. Now that's an important electrolyte that helps with healthy muscle function. And one of these little eight ounce bottles contains the juice of two whole pomegranates and nothing else. No added sugar, no fillers, or no preservatives. So at brunch, you could simply give the kids a little bottle of their own. But if you really want to elevate it, try making this Palm Summer Breeze. So this is made with the Palm Wonderful, some fresh lemonade, some carbonated soda, and garnished with a little bit of blueberries. Guarantee this is going to impress any man in your life this weekend. Tell me about that quiche there in front of you. I'm, I'm okay. all about this. Okay, so my dad loves eggs. I mean, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So this Father's Day, I am amping up my egg game by making a homemade quiche loaded with veggies. Now, Carly, I am not one of those dietitians who likes to spend hours in the kitchen. I really like it simple. So one of my dietitian hacks is using both fresh and frozen veggies in dishes. So to make this quiche, I started with an egg base. Then I added frozen spinach, frozen mushroom, fresh tomato, a little bit of thyme, pop that in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes, and voila, absolutely delicious. And another one that I like using during the summer is frozen fruit. Now, I'm sure I'm not gonna surprise you when I say that the frozen food category has become the fastest growing area at the grocery store in the last year. And for good reason, because they have frozen veggies, frozen fruit, snacks, entrees, so many things to choose from. But during the summertime, I love making smoothies, or what's really fun is to make smoothie bowls. So for brunch, this is a great option because everyone can add their favorite toppings. And I used my dietitian hack here by using both fresh and frozen fruit. So I made these smoothie bowls with fresh banana, frozen berries, and A2 milk. Now, Carly, I said I made this with A2 milk. Do you know much about A2? So I've heard a lot about it, but I have not yet to try it. So tell me again, refresh my me memory on why I need to. So A2 milk is 100% real dairy milk that comes from local U.S. farms. And it comes from cows that naturally produce only the A2 protein and no A1. Now, what's interesting is that a recent study out of Purdue University found that some people that experience stomach discomfort after drinking regular milk may significantly reduce their symptoms if they drink milk containing the A2 protein only. So that means for millions of Americans, A2 can be a great choice. And if your dad has a sweet tooth like my dad does, I have the ultimate recipe for you. And it's making chocolate waffles with the A2 chocolate milk. So you just make the batter, you're gonna pop it into a waffle maker. Then when they're done, add some fresh berries, sprinkle some powdered sugar and drizzle some syrup. Guarantee you, this recipe is gonna make you the number one son or number one daughter this Father's Day. So when you're grocery shopping, be sure to look for A2 milk at both Publix and at Walmart. Now let's end uh, or get to the, the end of it with pistachios. I know you're going to cook with them, uh, but I love just eating them straight out out of the bag. My kids love them too. Yes, I love wonderful pistachios as a snack nut because like you said, we have no shell, we have in shell, all these different flavors. So there's lots of variety and they actually have two new flavors, barbecue and sea salt and vinegar. But like you said, what's cool is that you can cook with wonderful pistachios. 
and they really are the perfect ingredient because each serving has six grams of plant-based protein that helps fuel your body with essential amino acids, as well as three grams of fiber and those healthy fats. So you really get a win, win, win. And I tell you, I have never met a dad who doesn't love tacos. So using wonderful pistachios in a taco recipe is the ultimate for your Father's Day brunch. You're gonna start by sauteing some hominy, wonderful pistachios, a little avocado oil, some chili powder and cumin. Then wrap that up in a corn tortilla, add a creamy avocado slaw, and homemade pickled red onion. And I promise you, he is gonna eat every last bite. Again, I know it's all about dad, but I'm just saying, I think the whole family is going to enjoy. Amy, thank you so much. Great ideas. Where can we go to get more info and uh, more recipes? You can find more about me at amygoodsonrd.com.